Hey, 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 this is Bishal Sarkar here, spending this amazing time in nature. And I just wanted to talk to you quickly about <clears throat> how do you really uh, prepare. So I want to give you some three quick tips that you can use to master your level of preparation. Um, when I say preparation, I'm talking about preparation, a world class presentation. So tip number one is remember, you have to begin with the end in mind. Tip number one, begin with the end in mind. And what it means, as you can see on the screen, begin with the end in mind is you got to ask yourself this question. What do I want my audience to think? feel and act differently as a result of experiencing my presentation you can see the question on the screen what do i want my audience to think feel and act differently as a result of experiencing my presentation so you want to start there like what do i really want what is the end goal what is the end result a lot of people you know they start with what do i want to start with and all of that that is an important thing but first of all you got to start with what is my end goal does that make sense to you what do i want to end with like what's the goal of the presentation that's the first tip. The second tip for preparation is make sure that you understand the 738-55 rule. What is the 738-55 rule? 7% of your communication is the words. You know, 7% is the words that you say. Words. 7% words. 38% is your vocal variety. Your voice. How do you influence with your voice? How do you um, create variation and tone and volume and pitch and all of that? And 55% is your body language. 55% is your body language. So 738-55 rule, which means you should not just prepare um, what to say, but how to say it. Does that make sense to you? It's not just what to say, but how do you say what you say? That's the second tip. So master your, you know, practice with your vocal variety, your body language and all of that. And the third tip I have for you is have a contingency plan. What I mean by that is sometimes things can go wrong. Let's say you, you have thought about a 25 minute talk and let's say, you know, your, your presentation ex ex you know, extends the time because the audience is interacting, whether the audience is your senior management team, your investors, your clients, or it's a general audience that you're speaking to, whether it's virtually or face to face, doesn't matter. Um, you need to have a backup plan. Like what is going to happen if I extend the time? What's going to happen if I, if the time shrinks down? What's going to happen if things go wrong? And that's why one of the most, you know, valuable ideas that, that you have to understand is you have to master spontaneous speaking, spontaneous speaking. Now, this is something that we work on a lot inside our program. You see, this is the way, this is a creative speaking exercise. Okay. Quick question for you. Before Just by doing this continuous speaking exercise right now, how many of you by a raise of hand feel this is an amazing spontaneous speaking exercise that you just now did and it is going to take your spontaneous speaking to amazing level? Absolutely. Okay. Another thing, by the way, about this spontaneous speaking is your spontaneous question answer ability. A lot of people do not know how to answer questions on the spot. Um, one of our one of our members of our program, Kalpana, she used to be afraid of question answer session. She it was a big problem for her, um, but now she has overcome it. Um, I uh, last uh, last ten days back or five days back, I mentioned to you about that uh, speech session for a preschool parenting session. Yeah, you are supposed to be the speaker. Yes, how did that go? Oh, it went on very great. Uh, Bishal, uh, and you know actually which part I did well? Question answer session. <laughs> I used to run away, run away from that. Let's you know, clap for uh, Kalpana. Let's uh, clap for her. Amazing. So you prepare. How how long was your speech? Uh, about, including the Q and A. Uh, including my Q and A and everything, sixty minutes. Wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, they wow. wanted to ask more and more. I said, uh, my number is there. You can connect connect to me. Um, mm. So I left the number and uh, the big part is I was happy that I was able to handle question and session very easily, very naturally it was coming for me. So I, nice. was, I was happy. I just finished that uh, speech and then I joined uh, the session. So I was a little late for the class. So absolutely. So these are some of the three tips I wanted to quickly share with you. Let's quickly review. Number one is begin with the end in mind. Um, ask yourself, what do I want my audience to think, feel and act differently as a result of experiencing uh, my presentation, number one. Number two, um, 
seven thirty eight fifty five rule. Seven percent is the words. Thirty eight percent is your voice, and fifty five percent is your body language. And third is have a contingency plan. Have a backup plan. What are you going to do? See, these are some of the things that you cannot learn just by watching video. You need a practical experience, and we have the most practical program for you. Our program is a very very practical program. You get experiential fine tuning. It's an implementation based program because it's a systematic program with synergy. We give you the most usable techniques, usable frameworks, usable methods, usable tactics about your public speaking skills. Step by step coaching. Step by step guidance and hand holding. We give you hands on experience, feedback, correction. I am there to correct your mistakes and give you actionable strategies and tactics so that you receive the practical transformation now. So if you really are ready to make it happen for yourself, if you're ready to to go to the top the top of your career the top of your speaking give us a call that you see on the screen right now okay give us a call right now save this number call talk to our team member right now Hello. this is like it is not going to cost you anything to make the phone call it's going to cost you a lot not to make the phone call it's costing you a fortune it's costing you your career growth it's costing you a lot because you could be at a, playing at a higher level but you are stuck here because you're not making the call. Make the phone call that you see on the screen right now on the number so that we can talk to you, understand exactly what you're looking for. You know, our program doesn't work for everybody. That means, you know, we are, there are certain kind of people that we don't accept in our program who are, who, who just want to learn theory. We, we have a practical transformational program, okay? Is that okay with you? So we, we teach you in a way that, that gives you results. If that's what you want, give us a call. We'll be happy to talk to you. Hope you have a great time wherever you are. Hope to, um, Hope to know about you, hope to know about your story, hope to know about all the things that you're up to so that we can absolutely help you and transform your life. It's a beautiful place here in the countryside. Hope you are making a great day. Bishal Sarkar here reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection. It's all about connection. Hi, this is Sarita Pradhan. I'm from Sikkim. Uh, I am basically a headmistress of a government school. Uh, before coming here, uh, I had the problem of not being able to connect with the students uh, since I run the school. And uh, one thing, another thing, uh, I didn't know how to wrap up the entire uh, presentation at the end. So th those are the two pro problems I used to face. I would say that uh, slowly I'm trying to come out of my own shell. I'm being more positive because of the, all the emails, feeds that, that I'm getting every day. So every day, the first thing I do is like, I open my phone, I read out the thing, uh, you know, send the letters sent to me, and I share with my sisters and my daughter. So I, every day I'm being very positive. And uh, the, yes, those are the thing I think, uh, you know. He has some special quality to see the drawbacks, the thing which you want to improve in you. And he does it automatically without you knowing it that he is doing it. So that is the great thing for me. Last 10 days time, uh, I have managed to uh, close a deal uh, for my organization, which is uh, till date the biggest deal in India. What is the what is the size of the deal? It's few million dollars. Okay, like like less than 10? Around that. Around that. Uh, I'm saying, you know, this is the biggest deal and that too, this COVID time. So that is why this has been highlighted, uh, you know, uh, globally uh, because of COVID situation and, and the obviously uh, in respect of India, the sizing I'm talking about. Yeah.